Today, Donald Trump is meeting with a host of potential cabinet picks at his golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey. But one nominee we know for sure, Senator Jeff Sessions. CNN's Pamela Brown takes a look at the nominee for attorney general. Hi there, everybody. Here we go. Alabama Republican Senator Jeff Sessions stands in stark contrast to the two prior Democratic-appointed attorney generals, Eric Holder and Loretta Lynch. His nomination for chief law enforcement officer comes at a time when tensions are running high between communities of color and police following the shootings of unarmed African Americans in Ferguson, Charlotte, and other cities. I am so happy to see such a large The current attorney general released a video statement saying hate crime spiked 6% last year, with the largest group of victims targeted because of their race or ethnicity. We will continue to enforce our nation's hate crimes laws to the fullest extent possible. The senator from Alabama. Sessions argued on the Senate floor in 2009 against expanding the hate crimes law to cover gay and lesbians. Incoming Democratic leader Chuck Schumer released this statement, saying in part he is very concerned about what he would do with the Civil Rights Division at the Department of Justice. On balance, his record should give everyone pause that he will be placed in a position to be the chief law enforcer of our civil rights. His record reflects a real hostility towards those rights and the very statutes that he will have to enforce. President-elect Trump calls Sessions, a former attorney general and U.S. attorney in Alabama, a, quote, world-class legal mind. And some of Sessions' Senate colleagues are applauding the appointment, with Senate leader Mitch McConnell saying, quote, he cares deeply about his country and the department he will be nominated to lead. It's likely Sessions' alleged racist comments in the past that cost him a federal judgeship will resurface during the confirmation hearing. During his 1986 confirmation hearings, colleagues testified he called the NAACP, quote, un-American and communist-inspired. An African-American who had worked under Sessions testified that Sessions called him boy and joked about the KKK, saying he was okay with them until he learned that they smoked marijuana. This assertion is ludicrous. I detest the Klan. The rule of law is an important thing. As U.S. Attorney in Alabama, Jeff Sessions prosecuted the head of the state KKK for abducting and killing an African-American teenager. And he has said he sought to end segregation in Alabama schools. Sessions told CNN in 2009 he has never been a racist. Those were false charges and distortions of anything that I did, and it really was not. I never had those kind of views, and I was caricatured in a way that was not me. Sessions was later elected Alabama's U.S. Senator and became a ranking member of the same committee that denied him the job as a federal judge. Over the last 20 years in the Senate, Sessions earned respect from colleagues on both sides of the aisle and developed a reputation as a staunch conservative with a strong stance against illegal immigration. The CNN's Pamela Brown reporting.